All right, so let's let's get going. Um, my name is Thomas Howe, um, and this is the service delivery platforms, the intersection of Web 2.0 and telecom, and uh, and I have uh, three quarters of the best panel that I can think of uh, to talk about this. And what I'd like to do is just to to have our panelists introduce themselves um, down the line here. And then what we'll do is we'll, um, we'll get going on uh, some questions that I have personally. I, of course, at any time during the, during the session, if you want to ask a question, don't be, don't be shy. You know, we're, we're all friends. Um, and I'll get three microphones. I guess they're all on. So, so Gary, let's start with you and come on down, all right? Good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Gary Galinsky. I'm the Director of Product Management uh, and uh, Product Innovation at Call Genie. Uh, Call Genie is a Canadian company uh, based out of uh, Toronto, Ontario, um, and we actually have worldwide operations. And what Call Genie does is we've kind of put ourselves at the, uh, at the intersection of uh, search and advertising. And what we do is we create systems that optimize search and facilitate search specifically in the directory assistance uh, arena. And we use the search opportunity to actually uh, facilitate delivery of advertising and specifically advertising within the Yellow Pages uh, environment. So we're bringing together these two uh, parts of the telco environment, uh, directory assistance and the Yellow Pages, creating a great search opportunity and making value-added advertising available. Excellent. Great. Thank you. Shai, Shai Berger. Hi, my name is Shai. Um, I am the co-founder and president of Phonolo, uh, a company also based in Toronto. What are the odds of that? Uh, we're a very new company. Uh, our product just uh, was unveiled to the world a couple months ago. And we've got a series of services that help consumers deal with large companies over the phone, starting with the ability to skip the phone menu. So now when you call a large company, you don't have to listen to the, large, uh, the long prompt at the beginning and press one for this and two for that. You can see a visual representation of the menu either uh, online or on your mobile device. Click the spot in the menu where you want to call and your phone will ring and you're connected directly. Uh, as a follow-on to that service, we're working on uh, something called Hold For Me that uh, takes that to the next step. It uh, contacts the company, navigates the menu, and waits till a live agent is ready and then your phone doesn't ring until they're ready to talk. Um, we also have a feature called Intelligent Call History, and maybe I'll, I'll get into the details of that later. But the, the theme here is around helping consumers deal with these big organizations, uh, sort of a consumer empowerment thing. Uh, and the connection to the panel and SDPs is that we are taking this to market through carrier partnership, so really seeing them as a platform to deploy our service, an SDP. Great. Excellent. Uh, Crick? So I'm Crick Waters, and I'm one of the founders of Ribbit Corporation. Ribbit is a telephony platform. We are building a telephony system from the ground up, from the switching layer up, and we've got a whole bunch of features and services that are built into this that are accessible through an API. The API that we've exposed is a Flex API, and then we also have a Flash API, which is a drag and drop. And so our customers can embed telephony into their business applications. So if you have, for example, think of um, uh, a workflow automation requirement in supply chain management, and you wanted to use your web services for supply chain management but embed voice and messaging in that, you could do so with our API. And that increases the value of your supply chain management application uh, quite a bit. That's just a simple example of what we're doing. Great. Excellent. And Pankaj. My name is Pankaj Shroff. I, uh, I'm the Chief Applications Ar Architect at Sonus Networks. Sonus is a, a large, uh, um, large uh, telecommunications infrastructure equipment provider. We have presence in um, three markets primarily. We have a large market share in North America and, and Japan, and we are growing very rapidly in Europe and Middle East. Uh, we are uh, we run some of the world's largest IP voice networks, privately privately run. <coughs> Essentially, uh, for example, AT and T Mobility ca carries about 12 billion minutes per month on our on our infrastructure, um, and uh, we are in six of the world's uh, ten largest carriers. Um, at uh, <coughs> my role at Sonus, uh, uh, with respect to the panel here. Um, is helping uh, architect and uh, provide strategy 
for building a platform and APIs for uh, carriers uh, to essentially leverage uh, leverage uh, rapid application development and uh, scripting um, and uh, and mashups uh, using our our platforms and APIs. So in that respect, we we build <coughs> both an execution platform as well as an application development platform. Uh, we provide a service creation environment uh, for CCXML and voice XML mashups. At the same time, uh, we are building web services APIs. Great. Perfect. <coughs> Fantastic. Okay. So um, I, I want to tell you a bit how I view the people here on the panel um, and how I sort of put their roles. And, uh, and the reason for this is what we want to talk about here is the intersection of telecom and Web 2.0 as looked at from the service delivery platforms. Um, and so, so right here, I think I've got four superlative examples of people involved in the ecosystem and people involved in, in how these things actually go together. So, for instance, uh, uh, on the right here, we have, we have Pankaj, who represents Sonus Networks. And uh, do we all know Sonus? Is that a well-known company to, to this audience, basically? Um, uh, you know, very, very scalable, um, very lots and lots of deployments. Um, it is uh, probably the best company that represents the next generation of telecom equipment. Right? It, it is the, the, the best of the uh, 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 traditional carriers look at what is available for them to work on. Next is Crick from Ribbit. Um, and how many, how many developers do you have on Ribbit now? We have uh, four, 4,500 registered developers. And you know, I'll be the first to tell you that there's a lot of looky-loos, you know, like bloggers. Yes. I'm one of them. Right, right. right. But I'm hoping you're going to develop something using yes. Ribbit service indeed R what ribbit is um, is uh, al although um, uh, they claim to be Silicon Valley's first phone company what I believe them really to be is the best example of of a web-based carrier <laughs> that has really um, grabbed the the essence of web development of they 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 are um, the reason that they have 4,000 even though there are many lookers so quickly is because they're really at web scale in terms of development and how they serve their developers. Okay, so this is a really a great web platform, right? And a great carrier platform, right? Good, that's good, right? The next, my next role here is, is Shai. And uh, Shai is a great example of someone who's actually built and running a Telco 2.0 company. This, this guy here has actually made a company that is doing an enhanced service, an application, a niched thing and he had to make choices about how he deployed his applications, right, Shai? Right? So I want to talk about some of the things that he was thinking about as he did that, right? So you see that. And then Gary did the exact same thing, but on the business side. Um, I, want, I want Gary to talk about his, his business models and the, the value that they bring to carriers so that we can understand the intersection of Telco 2.0 and Web 2.0 in terms of business model. Okay? So... Shai, we're talking more about his choices as, as to build this service for his niche, which has a good business model. But I also want to talk to, to Gary about the innovation in business models, which happens, okay? So, first of all, one of the things that um, even in this own panel we're kind of like, uh -ing about is the whole issue of a service delivery platform. So what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to work down the line here, and, and we're going to ask all the way down... Um, uh, for some comments around that. And the first one is Pankaj. So uh, please give me from, from your perspective and in terms of, of, of people here who may... Uh, by the way, I'm assuming here that we've got a mixed crowd of Web 2.0 you know, um, and uh, telecom people. And uh, so some of the Web 2.0 guys may not really know what an SDP is and, and vice versa. So give us a quick two minutes on this one. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, 